Hello, this is Janice. Welcome to What Did You Cook Today? Well, I know everybody knows how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Well, a cheese and ham grilled sandwich. But I got this lovely George Foreman gift from my daughter-in-law, Carla. And what a better way to show my appreciation but by making my first sandwich and showing it to her. Anyway, what you need? Barclay Jack Daniels. Got to have honey. Well, I've already had a few, so mine's already poured. So anyway, you have to get a bit tipsy to enjoy the sandwich. Mmm, that's delicious. Anyway, what else do you need? You need some ham. You need some cheese. I know my cheese is not looking that pretty, but it's Jalsburg and it has holes in there. So it's a bit difficult to cut it nicely. But anyway, that's the cheese. You have to have bread, obviously. Buttered on the inside. Oh, sorry, the outside. Well, outside, inside. Doesn't matter, does it, till you put it on. Anyway. All right. Then you need mustard and mayonnaise. Then my favorite, apple crumb sauce. Sorry, apple brownie sauce. <laughs> I'm thinking of apple crumbles. I'm so tipsy. Anyway, and also what you have to have very, very nearby is this. Nice boiling hot water with a nice, clean, brand new disposable dishcloth to clean your George Foreman in between if needed. Right. Okay. It's time to have another sip. Cheers! <laughs> okay, I don't know if you heard that clip. That means my George Foreman grill is ready. So what I'm going to do now is drop everything on the floor and obviously start loading my sandwich. Put the ham on. Can you see? I'm not good at this. You have to excuse me. This is my first time and I have to go very slow. <clears throat> anyway, right. Then I'm just going to put a bit of mayonnaise and I'm putting it in the middle of the sandwich because I don't want the outer part of the bread to get soggy and I obviously don't want a lot. But I want to get fat. Tur. I'm put a tad bit of mayonnaise, um, mustard and this mustard is very hot. So I don't want to put a whole lot on there. It's really peppery French mustard. And then a tad bit of my apple brownie sauce. First. Not too much. You don't want it too sweet because it is very sweet. Can you see it? You can't even really see it, can you? Anyway, whatever. <laughs> I'm putting the cheese on now, Carla. <laughs> Dropping the cheese on heaven knows. Oh my god, guess what? I'm so tipsy. Guess what I've done? <laughs> I've put it on the wrong side of the bread. I put it on the butter instead of the outside. So, on second thoughts, I don't really think it's a good idea to have a drink of Jack Daniels while you're in the kitchen, especially when you're drinking it straight <clears throat> and this early too. Shh, don't tell nobody. All right, all I have to do is lift the ham up and put it on the other side of the bread. No, you can't see. But I've done it. There you are. Doesn't look lovely, but there you go. I've got everything on it. And then you put the other slice of the bread on top. Can you see that? Nice cheese and ham and all that in there. Now... It's time for another sip of Jack Daniels. <laughs> okay, I've never done this before. And listen, please don't laugh if it comes out awful. And I've already decided if it comes out awful that I'm still going to post it so you guys can laugh at me. I don't mind laughing at myself. So, popping it on there. You hear that sound? Can you hear that? <sighs> Sizzling. And then you close it down. I think for five minutes, I don't know how long, I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it for a tad bit. And then I'm going to play some music. <laughs> oh, 
I'll be right back. Do you guys think it's ready? I hear it's sizzling. Should I open it now or later? I think I should have a puff of a cigarette. First. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what it's going to look like and I have a feeling if I open it too early it's going to stick on there. Tell me, should I open it now? It's just a cigarette. Leave me alone. I'm in my own house. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to open it now. Oh, gosh. Wow, yeah. Looks good. And I'm going to turn it over. I'm not sure why, but I see that... Oh, gosh. Turning it over. I should have left it. Right. It's coming along great. So I can drink as... Oh, hell. Cheers again, guys. All right, I think it's finished now. I know it looks really, really pretty. <laughs> oh, gosh. Not ready yet. Two more minutes. Lying, I can smell the mustard and applesauce. Mm, I can't wait to bite into it. Alright, not ready yet. I keep opening it. I should have just left it. I have a feeling that I should leave it for five minutes. I can't remember. But it's looking good, it's smelling good. Right, I know at this point I should really pause it. And then when it's ready I should switch it back on. But I'm drunk. All who drop that in law, but you know. Remember me telling you. <laughs> Alright, I think it's ready now guys. Lovely, it is. It's not as pretty and golden as I thought, but actually it's quite nice. Not sure if you can see it, but I'm going to put it on a plate. And bring it a bit closer. I'm going to cut it in half. Got something better than a butter knife. There we are. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? Delicious. Well, thanks for tuning into my channel. I don't want to see any negative comments in the comments box because if I see anything negative in there, I'm going to kick you out my group. Cheerio. See you later. Bye.